I just want to make a little disclaimer. We Italians don't look like him. Well, ish. No, we don't. <laughs> Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fabulous weekend and I wish you a great week ahead. As I'm, well, as you were watching this video, I am currently in Italy. So me and Jamie had two weeks holiday. So we came here the second Friday, the second, and we are going to fly back on the 18th. Um, so yeah, two and a bit weeks. Um, we are in a search for the property to buy and, you know, renovate it so we can move here as soon as we possibly can. So happy Monday, guys. And I'm like, gonna start a video announcing the winners, <laughs> which is the majority of you. Uh, you guys guessed very, very well. And it was a, a really uh, easy, put it that way, giveaway. Um, Sometimes, as you know, I do, well, at least once a month, um, sometimes twice, I do giveaways because giveaways are the way for me to say thank you to every single one of you. Not just because you purchase my kits, but you watch my videos, you take the time to leave the comments, you put a thumbs up, um, you join my groups on Facebook, you join them on social media, Instagram, etc, etc. So your love and support is really, really appreciated. So giving something back free to you guys is my way to say thank you for what you guys do to me. And on the videos on the Lucky Bingo kit, when I showcased the kit, I told you that one number was missing. And you guys guessed very, very well. Then the missing number was the seven. So this is the number I found in the box. <laughs> uh, they made it quite all right, actually. Uh, but no, the number seven, I totally made it up on a computer. So I have used one on the seven from there and then created a number seven digitally. Uh, you guys spot it very well. Okay, let's crack on with today's video. Oh, of course, I will reply to every comment. I took a screenshot to every single comment with the number seven and I replied to the comment with my email. So um, send me an email and I will send you the kit for free. Well done, guys. And thank you all for participating to a cheeky giveaway. OK, guys, so today I want to talk to you about the vintage cookbook bundle collection that I have because you guys are, as much, are excited as much as I am. So, and I had a lot of questions about this kit, about this bundle. And also a lot of you have purchased it and waiting to do some tutorials together. So let me explain what it is first. And then today we're going to create the base. This bundle includes four kits. One is called the Vintage Cookbook, the base, which is this one that I'm going to show you now. So this kit has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. Okay. So let me get, let me move this out of the way so we don't get confused. So this kit here, and I will put all the links down below. So it's going to be so nice and clear. This kit here is to construct the base of the cookbook. So what that means, I've gave you lots of options. You get you can create three different sizes with this kit. You can create a cookbook that it holds in a book like that. Okay, and that's the three tabs. So you've got the one on the left, the one in the middle and the one on the right. So you can write your recipe or you can, uh, you know, condense my down and glue it into here. Okay, so this is one size. These tabs here measure four and a half by three and a half okay so you can get if you print loads of this that's your little tab so you can write your recipe so that's one size i'll go back to this in a minute then you get another size which is the same tab but on a slightly shorter a5 okay so that's just an a4 so you get them slightly shorter than an A5, okay? And again, you get 
the one on the left, two in the middle, and the one on the right. These measure six and a half by five, okay, which is slightly shorter and smaller than an A5. And the reason why I did that, if you think this is an A4, so our journal is going to be our cookbook, mine is going to be an A4, this tabs here will fit perfectly in our journal but everything will make sense in a minute that's the two size the third size is those ones here so you can get an a5 or an a6 okay so that's an a6 so you can create a cookbook that is this size here so you simply print a lot of this and you write in there i gave you some plain and i also gave you a a5 so you can get a tabs and this page this is another a5 when you give you a plain square so you can write your recipe or i give you a proper recipe card which is this one or another plain one but with the columns so you can write your own ingredients and direction okay so i've done the bigger job for you <laughs> so that's the base and then you get the little embellishments so you get little tabs so you can we can create section pasta starter fish vegan vegetarian dessert meat and then again i've done in different colors okay and i've got a plain one so you guys can write your own and this is some bookmarks or pockets just for an embellishment this is the base of the cookbook okay so repeat three different sizes okay so that is the base and i'm gonna put this in here sorry this video is gonna be a bit long then you've got another kit which is called the um the background so this was on last week friday freebie so you get different background we're going to use that today for the cover of the cookbook because i like this is very italian typical italian tablecloth <laughs> I'm sure you've been to a proper traditional Italian restaurant with this tablecloth <laughs> and I've done it in three, in three different colours. So if you're big, a pinky fan or a blue fan, that's it. And then just a different background. Again, you can cut this into A5, some little cards, another background which I made with collage and different embellishment. That's me and the menu. Don't be rude. That's me. <laughs> a slightly older version than me um the one with the forks and the cherries and this one here so that's the background then we got another one which is called the vintage cookbook the embellishment so in this kit you get all sorts you get tags i mean look at that chocolate ones that will complement the lemony embellishment that i showed you on the first kit so because i like when things matches together so you get another pillow boxes so you can put it in your journal and maybe you could put some cards in there some butterflies some more tags some embellishment some cards that we can put in our journal more tags with the strawberries some fruits and little sweets <laughs> and just some in some pages that we can create envelopes or decorate them and last but not least you get this bigger one here which is called the vintage cookbook 100 recipes yes you get 100 recipes they're all different it's fish there is poultry there is meat there is desserts there is vegetarian there is vegan there is italian there is british there is all sorts anything there are soups cakes veggies pies liver you call it veggies, uh, ham and pineapple toasty, all different. These are uh, very vintagey. Um, they were falling to pieces. Um, advertisements uh, from companies from the past. So, yes. Okay. So this is the bundle. So I hope I have explained it to you clearly. So what we're going to do today? We're going to create the base of our cookbook. So as I said to you guys, mine is going to be an A5. So I'm going to, where did I put it? Where are you? Did I put you in there? Yes. So, and again, I will put everything linked down below so it's all clear. 
where did I put? So we're going to use a cereal box. <laughs> it's my favourite cereal. So mine is going to be slightly shorter than an A5. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to cut and give all the measurement in a minute. Okay. Okay, guys. So what I need you to do, I need you to get rid of that white border. So you ended up with this. Okay. Oh, I'm not measured this seven times. So, um, oh yeah, so there were five. Yes, yeah, so once you get that, measure five on each side. So measure five, turn around five, and then you get a little bit in the middle. Okay, so that's our base. Then I need you to cut from a cereal box or anything that's more rigid. Two rectangulars that measure four and a half by seven and a half inches, and they're going to go like that. And then another little strip that is one and a quarter by seven and a half. Okay, so they will be glued down like that. Okay, and then what you do, guys, you put it glue completely. This little section here in between, it will be because that's the spine. So when we fold it, it's going to stay nice and strong. And then what you need to do, you're going to cut the little diagonal lines in there and fold it over. Now, what I'm going to do, but this is totally optional to you guys, and I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to use some elastic thread to put it on my spine because I don't want anything to show on the back of the, of the journal, on this case, the cookbook. So I'm going to attach the thread in there and put it inside. So when we're going to put the pages, you're going to stay like that and then I'm going to glue it down. I'll show you in just a second. Let me do it and I'll be and I'll show you exactly what I mean. OK, so what I've done with the spine, because this book is going to have three signatures. So I put three holes in there and then I just put the elastic in there. So you've got one, two and three. Don't worry too much because this is once you put the pages, you won't be able to see any of this. So I'm going to glue it down. And then I'm going to put um, another piece of the same paper inside so it's all nice and neat. Okay, but I'll show you. In fact, I might just do it and then speed it up so you guys can see the process. Okay, guys, so you saw me gluing this together. Okay, so you've got the two panels and the spine. The spine, do not worry because you won't be able to see any of that once the pages are in. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And I was saying to you, this is what I like, but if you like these, um, the threads for the signature to pop out, by all means do it, but I do like when it's a bit neat like that. Okay. So what I need you to do now, guys, I need to print another page of this and then you need two rectangulars that measures tiny, tiny bit shorter than five by seven and a half. And then we're going just simply going, going to glue this there. OK, so that there and that in there. OK, so you end up with something that looks like this. Now, if you want your spine to be smaller, by mo by all means, do so. But this is going to be very chunky. I have this feeling. And also, I will be sharing maybe like twice a month. Um, we're going to do lots of pages together. So I'll give you some ideas and, you know, but by all means, now you can start putting some papers as a base of it. And then we are going to decorate it. But at least now we've got three signatures, which is going to be very nice and bulky. And I can't wait to decorate it. Now, for the front, which is our cover, 
we can do what you want you can put a little tab with your name but i do want to use this funny looking italian man or should we use the menu um i don't know i think put that bit too big I think that might be too big, but I think he's going to be big too. Let me, let me fuss the cat and I'll be right back. I wish you guys are here with me now to tell me what to do. Okay, so that is the journal slash cookbook that we made today in this video. And now once you finish, you are now fluent in Italian. <laughs> oh dear me. Now... I ended up having the menu on the front and him on the back. Now, I just want to make a little disclaimer. We Italians don't look like him. Well, ish. No, we don't. But all the Italian chefs has got that funny look, <laughs> which I, I do agree. I love that. It's so stereotypical, but it's actually quite... I find myself very funny. Um, I don't feel offended at all. Uh, but yeah, I just find very funny how certain cultures and different languages and cultures pictures italian chef in this way and it's funny i i, I appreciate the joke and I, you know i'm the first uh self um never say never take myself too seriously that's what i'm trying to say now this is gonna bother me it's gonna drive me absolutely insane so what i suggest you guys to do if you follow this or if you put anything on the top before you put the papers before you do anything else give this a couple of layers couple of coats of mod podge seal it completely because that will create a little film on top of your journal and a will stick all together and b will make it last for a long time okay so i'm going to do that in a minute okay that is the base of our cookbook I'm so excited. I've got so many ideas I want to share with you guys. We'll be doing together in the next upcoming weeks. I think by, I want to say Easter 2023, this will be finished. We will do all recipes together. We'll do lots of videos. We might do some cooking videos together and I'll give you a little recipe tag to put it in here. And then we're going to have lots of fun with this. Sorry, I've got Mod Podge everywhere. Right, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you like this video. If you're fluent in Italian, please give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> it really helps the video. Um, before you guys go, I need your little help. Um, sorry, I found a mesmerizing peeling glue off my finger. I know it's rude to do it on camera, but um, little quiz. There is, there is no price, but what we're going to call him. I need you to reply. <laughs> I need you, don't say Antonio. I will be very offended. I'm joking. If you wish to call him Antonio, please do so. I don't get offended. Leave me a comment down below with the name of him. We got to name it. I say mine. Um, he looks like a Pino, P-I-N-O, which is the short version of Giuseppe. Giuseppe is very Italian, very common Italian name. My brother is called Giuseppe, but he looks like a Pino. So, yeah, I'm going to call him a Pino. So, yeah, let me know down below. And then the um, the name I like most, we're going to call him like that. I'm going to go have a fabulous week. And until Wednesday, stay safe and well.